Welcome back, everybody, to Turner Warped, Season 2, Episode number 18. We return to this crazy, huge, slug-like alien creature chasing after Sten and Betty. It's making these horrible kind of gurgly noises, and you guys are just hard charging across this open field. At the end of the field is some kind of... Uh, some kind of cave of sorts. Uh, the cave has these strange-looking, this strange-looking fauna growing about. You can see that the um, fauna partially obscures parts of the cave. The slug seems to be much larger than the cave itself. Um, Sten is uh, leading the the run at full sprint towards this cave. Um, he pulls you inside out of the rain, and you can see, like, um, the slug slam into the, uh, the, the ridge at the top of the cave. <laughs> Debris rattles down from the ceiling, loosened dirt. You can hear some kind of vermin running about. <laughs> They make their way outside, scurrying out into the into the flora. And Sten says, We need a weapon! Something to fight this! Well, we could just wait and, you know, till it goes away again. I mean, you can't get in here, right? Slams itself against the edge of the cave. And you hear it, you, you see the uh, rubble and debris fall again. Okay, uh, do I still have my pistol on me? Um, give me your luck dice pool. Uh, that would be. Yeah, I think if you click the luck attribute, then yeah, the yeah. attribute section. A four on a two d six. Um, definitely not. Roy, have we got any sticks or anything in here? He just kind like, of like, looks yeah, around. Yeah, I'll look around. What is? Is there anything I can improvise a weapon out of? Sure, give me a perception check. Don't you have the oh. penetrator with you? She does not. Aww. Oh, if only you had thick here who could improvise a shave out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I've got the always be prepared. Which genre? Which fucking genre did the penetrator choose then? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the always prepared exploit. Okay, and what does that exploit state? You have a brilliant tactical mind and are always prepared. You may declare a single action at which you took prior to the encounter, even if you didn't know the encounter was going to take place, which helps you in this exact scenario. This must be an action that you were capable of. So, in the assumption that you met this person and were sort of... Uh, you sort of saved each other on the way here. What do you think you would have done to prepare? So I definitely don't have my pistol on me. You definitely do not have your pistol on you. In that case, while we were running through the forest, I would have probably grabbed the materials to make uh, a, a, a couple of makeshift spears. Totally believable. And screed them down the front of my uniform. How did you fit, fit the sticks in there? Don't even ask. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just sort of like, right, it's all right, I got free. Here we go, I've got some. There we go, and right, okay, we just make a couple of like really nasty multi barbed spears, and I'm like, right. So what give me a. Um, let's see what you can do here. Give me a. Um, let's see what skills you got. Um, this is gonna be a straight up. I want to say. Intuition check. Hmm. All right. Um, um, no, one. actually, this is going to be a logic check. Logic check. Intuitions. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna add my last luck dice to this. Okay. Right. Boink. And then... Oh, an exploding luck die. An 11 on your... 3d6 and a 6 and a 5 adding to a 22 you fashion some rudimentary spears um the sticks are kind of strange like this 
the whatever kind of plant this is um, has lots of uh, sort of barbs on it. So you you have to sort of um, use some kind of rock or something strewn about this cave. You just kind of uh, have to shear them off. And it has these kind of um, nodules, almost like where branches come off. But instead of the branches, there's these kind of barb-like, almost like a pine tree has pine needles, but these are big. You know, yeah. they almost like teeth. So, so it's basically, yeah, like a, oh man, locust tree or whatever it is. They've got the really I've huge, never seen one, so I'm not sure. Um, they're African. Uh, okay. And, and, and then they've got like five inch spines on them. Pretty sure it's a locust tree. Okay, so regardless, you get this uh, spear kind of sh uh, shaped up. Yes, uh, yeah, very much like that. I just looked it up. Mm. <clears throat> right, here we go. There's yours. I don't know if this will work. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? I'm just going to sort of like creep to the air as close as I can without getting mashed and just give it a good jabbing. Okay. Um, yeah, so you just try to like reach up and poke this thing when it comes down. Uh, I think you need to make an attack roll here. Um, oh, give good. me your agility uh, or strength, whichever is better here. Plus... <laughs> You definitely do not have any kind of bonus spear skill of any sort. So no, this is just no. agility or strength. Uh, agility then. Oink. Ooh, on a 46, a 17. I went for the weak point. <laughs> yeah, you sort of uh, you sort of stab this thing. Uh, it's massive though. It's quite huge. And um, when you stab it, you just kind of. Like, pull it back out this, like, <laughs> globules of disgusting green uh, oozy-type blood just kind of... Ooh, that's nasty. It kind of does, like, the floppy arm thing as it just kind of, like, Due to this back. being romance, does the globby stuff smell like strawberry lube? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, in fact, a na natural aphrodisiac? Oh, I'm suddenly overcome with lust. It smells like cocoa butter. Quite <laughs> <laughs> uh, pleasant, actually. Uh, oh God. Um, yeah. So for science. Yeah, it's um, it, it's it smells nice. It smells nice. Yeah. Um, and and uh, Stan also, while this thing is kind of like reared back, he just kind of like leaps forward, like doof doof doof. <laughs> throws this fucking spear just like and you just see like gets stuck like in this thing and it just squirting out this green cocoa butter smelling oozy blood and you can see like the blood just kind of like hits Sten like like on his chest just like coated and he just like slow motion, like shakes out his tentacles and it's just like Ooh. shooting everywhere. You can see him there and the, the creature just kind of like, it just kind of rears back, sliding along the ground, leaving this trail of green slime and it kind of uh, pulls back away. The rain starts to downpour even heavy. Sten, like, turns himself towards you, and he says, Good job! We thank you! We, you didn't do so bad yourself, if I may say so. <clears throat> so, uh, what hmm. should we do now? I reckon we, we should... We should get out of this rain. We don't know. I, th I, th I think washing the slime off might be a good idea. Do you need some help? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> he like walks up, starts to like get the stuff like uh, off of your face. <laughs> What's the sexiest music we've got for the show? Hold on. Bow chicka wow wow. Polka. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> we don't. We Sorry, don't. I definitely didn't make any of that. <laughs> yeah. Get it. Sorry. Take the only so the take the skies song is the closest thing I think. This is the this is the closest, the closest BG, kind of. I think it's very short sighted of you not to have made a sexy song. I would love to. I just do not have the skill nor inclination to make <laughs> romantic music. Then love to seems wrong. That's the wrong choice of words. You said you should have said I would not like to. It's it's be it's Betty, right? So what's the most aggressive song? <laughs> the one I linked earlier in the Zoom chat. We need something by Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, there's this it's... kind of scene where he's wiping the slime off of you. And uh, it says, uh, it says, You know, with this blood all over you, you smell very... Present. Oh, you do too. Tell me, have you? Did your species kiss? What is this word? Kiss. Let me show you. She said, like sucking on his face tentacles. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, to, like, kind of like milking on my shoulders. I, like, I feel. I feel like the scene just kind of blacks out there. Um, <laughs> For the sake of all of our sanity. <laughs> the scene just kind of blacks out there. And we get like this scene back of Ilya outside uh, in the in the landing area of the loading dock. Uh, that's just kind of, um, you're not seeing this. You can't like tune into this. You don't have any credits. Just waiting outside with the doctor and... Uh, and curare um and um by now the atmosphere will have changed the atmosphere has actually comprised itself of a breathable atmosphere your suits would have given you some kind of notification to tell you this uh, i'm getting alert the doctors can you confirm is safe breathable air <laughs> Yes, it appears so. Yes, it seems fine. He's... He's fine. Karari and uh, Dr. Dellen take off their suits. Ichar says, Yes, sir! <sighs> what is that smell? It is... It is... Uh... Not sure. Uh, you have a better nose, correct, Kirari? Uh, Your feelings are better at smelling. Kirari just kind of says, <sighs> I suppose um, it smells sort of fruity. Some sort of citrus. Hmm. Strange. Where is coming from? Or is just sent for? Karari just kind of falls onto all fours and starts to starts to move around the ground. She walks over to some sort of vent of sorts, and she says, It is coming from this... This vent here. Hmm. They must just uh, think that our atmosphere smell like citrus. Curious, it is not 
overpowering. Yes, it's not, not so bad. I like this. Intriguing. <laughs> Why would they do this, Stellan? I have not understand any of the motives behind any of these creatures. This entire spectacle of theirs is unnecessary, and it appears to be their main source of not only entertainment, but also their economy. It is extremely troublesome and worrying to imagine a race that determines some sort of entertainment is their only economy. It's, it's strange. It's strange. Uh, I check my I check my timepiece. Uh, but this time, how long have Doctor Eckers and uh, Thick been gone? Um, just a few Excuse minutes. Me, it's crash and burn now. <laughs> mm, yeah. It's just a few minutes. Um, speaking of which, when we uh, join Dr. Icarus and Thick, they are wearing some strange outfits. Both of you find yourselves in a kind of jumpsuit of sorts. Um, a sort of... Like the running man? One piece kind of thing. Please tell me we look it's like the running. It's an orange jumpsuit. And thick, it's it's obviously been sized appropriately for you. Your proportions are a little different. Yeah. And that's okay. <laughs> no proportion <laughs> shape. Okay. In uh... front of you, um, you see a, a sort of blank scene. Uh, white walls uh, in a sort of hexagonal shape. There appear to be no markings of any sort. There are tiles along the ground, also in a hexagonal shape, covering the entire floor. What do you do? Are we standing on these tiles? You can see that there's one uh, area in the center of this room that you're in. It is devoid of tiles. Right. Primary analysis seems to suggest that that is different than this. But why? Puzzles. <laughs> puzzles! I can't say puzzles as well as science. Well, I'm sorry. What was that? How big are the tiles? Each one is approximately, we'll say, 10 inches in diameter. Uh, can I move from one hex to the other? You're currently in the center hex. Oh. Okay. And it is, it's large enough for the both of you. And okay. it, this is this hex different to the next hex? Yes. It's you're surrounded by smaller hexes. They just oh. cover the entire floor. You guys are in the central area and the, each of the hexes is about 10 inches in diameter or so. Okay, I want to open up one of my compartments, take out like a little bobble that's probably like a gear, like a copper gear or something that I've just collected randomly. Mm -hmm. And waddle forward and put it on the forward facing hex. Okay, the forward facing hex. You go to drop it down, and that's where we're going to end the session today. <gasps> <Yeah! laughs> you just see it like turning in midair in slow motion, and just as it before it touches the ground. Yes. We've entered we've Portal, the game, which I am not good at. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I am not good at it either. <laughs> yes, good session, everybody. Okay, let's do some shout-outs to wrap things up. Let's start off with uh, Dr. Puzzles. <laughs> Dr. Death, 
science and puzzles are just science for the brain. <laughs> Who wrote this? Oh, that's the name of the episode yeah, right there. Fine. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I really wanted to go with Betty Penetrates the Universe. Either way, my name is Peachy Pixelate. You can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Peachy Pixelate. Check out my merch. No, I don't actually have any. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a streamer. Okay, so I, I've got a new schedule. I don't stream on Tuesdays. This Tuesday, I might be getting my new PC delivered. So maybe on Monday, we're going to do an unboxing of all the other stuff, if, if, if that's your thing. And then we'll play some games, probably... Uh, sea of Thieves, which on Sunday, with the lovely Simply Jackson, we'll be doing some more of that, and that game is amazing. If you've not seen it, don't watch it because you will want to buy it, and it's not out yet. Don't buy it. It's so fucking good. I love it. It's so good. Thank you, Fuzzy. Thank you. Thank you, Fuzzy. <laughs> did did Fuzzy get it for you? No, Fuzzy was like, uh, do you want a key? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the key! <laughs> The key to all of our hearts. Oh. Hey, Ilya. Hey, I'm Zgorkis. Today I played Ilya Mutomates for you. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to my fellow role players and a GM for, for a, a great session as always. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, then it happens right here on Saturday. So make sure you follow Wax Stevens' channel. And if you want to hang out with me more, I'm Zgodicus, and I'm Zgodicus and all the internet places, so you can come hang out with me then. And there, I'm replaying Final Fantasy VII because I love it. If you want to find out why I love it, come watch me play, and, and you'll see why. Um, and I'll explain why. And then you can tell me what game you love. And then we can talk about games in general and just have a nice time and a nice conversation. Before you know it, we're in love, and then we can... Uh, we can... To join the romance spectacle and make lots of credits. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Speaking of soon, Simply Jackson! Hi, I'm Simply Jackson! And um, I play Thick, our android, who um, is thrilled to one, be out of Space Bubble Anomaly, and two, to be able to actually do a puzzle. Um, I uh, am a variety broadcaster. I am, I keep saying this every, I feel like I have to like disclaimer, I'm really new to RP, uh, but I'm having a really good time uh, learning and growing at it. Um, thanks to especially this crew. They're super kind and also very quick to learn from. Um, I would like to encourage everybody to support um, Wax Steven as well. Um, subscribe, keep the content. Don't coming. do it. Give him some love. He's horrible. Do it, do it because it's do great. It great and now he's full-time right now at this so uh, <laughs> unintentionally full-time like but most it's twitch good. streamers it's exciting <laughs> you can get like little backing and support okay i'm gonna go now thanks this is really fun i like these people a lot come see us tomorrow we'll play some pirates i'm really excited to do it. <laughs> <laughs> betty all right i'm currently sucking face with some sort of potential alien <laughs> betty's in her element right now she is in her element uh but yeah hi I'm fuzzy. I do fuzzy things in front of me. I'm fuzzy streaks. Uh, and I'm currently playing through um, um, Bioshock 1 and 2 for the first time. Fuck big daddies. Um, but other than that, I'm fucking loving it. Just tell me how the ammo search goes. Um, fine so far. I mean, I've, I've basically, the, the, the second big daddy fight I had um, basically took um, all of my ammo and all of my it's just everything and i was basically just climb, climbing out of the the resurrection chamber like setting fire to the thing hitting it a couple of times with a wrench dying again it just, just <laughs> thunk, thunk. Ah. but i did it in the end the true question and is are you enjoying the hacking in bioshock yes. that's really all it's about i love the hacking mini game yeah it's fun um so I haven't failed at all, so... It's I'm, been I'm, so long since I've played it, I can't even remember what it was. It's the pipe game. It's like the yeah. pipe game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. like it. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, you look doubtful. Please ignore the weird noise in the background. My dog's drinking. Sure he is. It's totally not Bob at all. It's not, actually, although he did just get back from a walk. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's me. 
If you want bio shock goodness, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. I am Wax Steven. I am the GM of Doom. I have dragged these guys kicking and screaming through an adventure today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, chat, much love to you. Thank you so much for being awesome. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, chat. Thank you, Peachy. Thank you, Simply. Thank you, Zagoticus. Thank you, Fuzzy, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. If you guys like what I do here, uh, I'd love a follow. But first, please make sure that you follow all these wonderful people. They are great role players, and you should follow them because follows are free. Why the hell not? Why not push that button? Do the things and the stuff and the things. Um, uh, and I'm also over on uh, Twitter uh, at Wax Steven there. And uh, we're gonna ha I'm gonna have a lot of news coming up as uh, as I said I'm now jobless, so there's gonna be lots of time to devote to the stream and, and get stuff done there, which will be pretty exciting for me. Um, even though I'm gonna be doing a job hunt in the in the meantime, I am going to be uh, devoting a lot of time to the stream, and I'm not going to take a job until March, regardless. So I'm taking February off from jobbing, as it were. Well, from, um, from one type of jobbing, you're still, you know, streaming, so. Yeah, but don't we know it's that that's job. not really work? It's not really work, right, to stream, right? <laughs> it's so easy just it's to turn just... the camera on and show your boobs yeah. and just make money. Just, just yeah, you gotta, you know, it is. you gotta do a little, you know. The fuck? I'm going to steal some viewers. Thanks, everybody, for watching. You guys have a wonderful... You guys have a wonderful rest of your uh, Saturday. Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Later. Bye. Love you. Bye. Goodbye, comrades. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wanted to do puzzle. Instead, I...